It's time to find out about an incredible event called Verse Fest. Very cool. And it's taking place March 26th to the 31st. All right, uh, let's say hi to Jennifer Peterson, the director of Verse Fest, Ottawa's International Poetry Festival. Hello, Jennifer. Hi. I'll and clarify, we have... one of several directors. Oh, one of several yes. directors. That's yes. good. Okay, it's a team. It is. And we also have the English Ottawa Poet Laureate, Deanna Young, with us. Hi. Hi. Good to see you here. You have your book as well, Reunion. I do, yes. We'll talk about that coming up. Jennifer, can you tell us a uh, history of this event? First of all, how long has it been around for? It's been around since uh, 2011, so this is our eighth year running. Okay. And it gets bigger and better every year. It's uh, We're up to 80 poets over the six days. That's and they come from all over the world. Okay. So, so what is what is Verse Fest all about? It's all about poetry yeah. and, and every different type of poetry you can imagine. There's a week-long exhibit of uh, concrete and visual poetry. There are spoken word poets. There are page poets and so on. So it's, it's, it's really diverse. Okay. So, so can I ask you then, Deanna, so you are Ottawa's English Poet Laureate. So what exactly does that mean? That's a pretty big title. It is, and it's a great honour. Um, uh, the, the Poet Laureates, and there are two in Ottawa because we're a bilingual city and the capital of a bilingual country, so my, I have a, a francophone colleague, Margaret mm -hmm. Michelle Cook, who's just been appointed uh, as well. And our job is to really serve as cultural ambassadors for poetry and uh, the literary arts in Ottawa. Mm -hmm. so, so how did you get that title? I mean... Was there a process? Were you selected? It was. It came as a surprise yeah. to me. I, I knew that the position of Poet Laureate had been reinstated a, few, a couple of years ago um, after being um, uh, defunct for a few years in Ottawa, mm -hmm. and then it was brought back. Um, and I understand there's a selection committee, a jury um, that's part of the Verse Ottawa yeah. uh, um, organization, and uh, they have a process. I guess they survey the landscape of poets in, in Ottawa and uh, and try to find people who can fulfill that role that's for something. a couple of well, years. Congratulations on that. Thanks. Jennifer, there's really something for everybody at Verse Fest, though. There absolutely is. Yeah. Even even for kids. On the Saturday morning, we have uh, Dennis Lee, mm -hmm. who is the, you remember Alligator Pie? Yeah. Um, Yes, that's, that's, the, cool. that's the fellow, and he's going to be doing a, a reading on Saturday morning really? for, uh, just for the kids. But there's, again, something for everyone's taste. Okay. Uh, maybe we can talk about Reunion. Sure. I teased it earlier. So that there is, is. Your, your book of poems. <laughs> yes. So what kind of poems would we find in there? Um, I, I write from a very uh, a personal point of view. Uh, so, so those poems sort of revisit the uh, landscape and the culture of my youth and uh, encounter ghosts in the process and uh, speak back and forth in time. I guess they're poems from the past and, and then poems from a more contemporary point of view and they sort of speak to each other. I like to make the analogy anyone who goes through their day is sort of going about their daily business but if you pay attention, you might notice that your mind goes back in time and might reflect on things that happened to you even a long time ago mm. and this, these are all the voices that are at play in our minds every day and sometimes we're not even conscious of it. That's pretty creative stuff <laughs> and deep. I like that. Okay, so Jennifer, <laughs> how does it work? I mean, there's, there's how many po poets, sorry, are, are, are going to be there? There are spread over the, uh, the six days. Mm -hmm. um, people can, you can get a, a $65 uh, festival pass that lets you into every single event. Uh, or you can get a, a two event pass for eighteen dollars, or you can just go buy event. And and uh, so if you don't want to make that kind of commitment, see see if you like it, try it out for one event, and then go for it from there. Mm -hmm. well, why is it so important, Deanna, to to obviously put the the poems, write them down, but then actually say them in front of a crowd? Well, I think it's important for the the authors to to share their work. It's also important, I think, for the uh, the community in general. Um, Ha gathering together in a space and not speaking about politics necessarily and commercial things and and other concerns, but to actually uh, speak of of the work of meaning seeking and it can it can make us all feel less isolated. I mean, like any art, um, it can really have a uh, um, a healing and transformative uh, mm -hmm. power, not just to for individuals but to communities. Thirty seconds here, Jennifer. So so uh, how can people? find out more. What, what's the best way to get tickets, to find out the lineup, all of that? The best way to go is to go to versefest.ca and uh, the schedule is there. Every, you can get your passes online there. You can also get them at the door. Amazing. Versefest.ca happening until the 31st. Knox Presbyterian Church, 120 Lisgar. Thank you very much for being here today, Jennifer and Deanna. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you for being here. Have a good day.